guys, what's up? It's Tori. And Gabrielle. And we are here for another episode, or fucking video, of Eat, Pray, Fuck My Life. You need to know what's up. Do you guys know what this is? This is an onion. This is a fucking <laughs> onion. And Gabrielle taught us how to turn this into a way to heal your life. Okay, Gabrielle, can you explain the thought onion to us? Because it's a common theme in your book, and it's an incredible tool that you made up. So please... The honor is all yours. <laughs> Passing of the onion. <laughs> so the thought onion is my technique that I basically wanted to be able to figure out what was at the core of my thoughts and my reactions. So you think of it like it. I love that we have a prop to do this. Like an <laughs> onion. Um, and the outer layer is the superficial thought. So that's you know, the thought that you're immediately having, <laughs> this little layer right here, <laughs> the thought that you're immediately having when you have that reaction. It's normally superficial and very, just your brain firing off that, that first word vomit, if you will, thought. Uh, so once you peel that little layer Woo! off, Take it off. <laughs> um, you get to what we call the authentic thought, and that is a little deeper and kind of what's pushing that first thought to the surface and the feeling or the trigger necessarily behind the superficial thought. I, I don't know if I can pull. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Another layer. We're just going to make a mess. In the layer. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so under that, when you peel that layer back, is the subconscious thought, and that's really where the meat and potatoes, like the golden nugget of information is and that's the belief that you've been carrying and when you get to that and really can understand where all these thoughts and feelings are coming from that's when you can start to shift things and in turn heal your life turning an onion into a goddamn guru <gasps> should i bite it i mean i was kind of thinking i don't i you can if you want to are ladies you really and gentlemen gonna do it? this is how it is. this is how much she loves her freaking audience oh my god you really did it is it terrible? Whoa. Not that bad. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Yeah, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They say if you plug your nose and do it, that it tastes like an apple, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna get some... I mean, you're braver than I am. I just write about it. That's I never said eat it. <laughs> <laughs> the thought onion is something that Gabrielle comes to so much in the book, so I want her to read you an excerpt from the book of how she uses it to break down a specific situation. I feel like there's a thought onion here. The superficial thought? People must think my life is a joke. To be fair, everyone had seen me be lied to, cheated on, divorced, back in love, and broken up with, all in the span of three months. Authentic thought. I feel like a failure. Yeah, I definitely felt that, big time. Failed marriage, failed relationship, failing at not resorting back to old habits, just failing. Now, what's the subconscious thought? But you're still here. And there it was, the subconscious golden nugget. Who cared if I had been lied to, cheated on, broken up with? None of that was in my control. What was in my control? Having the freaking courage to keep going. To go on this trip, to not let myself crumble into a million little pieces, so no matter how beaten and broken I felt, I knew what a strong woman I was. <laughs> so that's the thought onion, guys. We really encourage you to give it a shot, dig deeper into your own emotions, and if you need help, get Gabrielle's book, Eat, Pray, Fuck My Life, because she breaks it down so many times and just makes it such a, an amazing tool to use in your life, and she doesn't even have to eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. And I use it every day, so enjoy it, use it, figure out what your shit's about. It's very helpful. And follow her at at Eat, Pray, Fuck My Life and at Gabrielle Stone. Come hang with me. Bye, guys.